Well, some artists and their works are not easy to describe, but they're capable of shedding a new light on hidden places. Kicking off this week's Arts Block, Elizabeth Hertel interviews such a painter. When is a painter a sculptor with an eye towards architecture? When is a painting a psychiatrist be evoking questions of their own directed to the viewer? And when is an artist a covert stub muffin? Answer, when it has anything to do with painter Robert Brasher. Most of us interact with grandiose structural constructs every day as we drive over bridges, overpasses, and under viaducts. Our only concern is to get from point A to point B. Robert Brasher recognizes and memorializes the artistry and design in these structures while maintaining the integrity of their massive strength. Um, I go to the city a lot in Chicago and I walk around and wear out a lot of pairs of shoes and trespass on different areas of the city and climb underground and try to find uh, new vantage points and look at uh, the structural underbelly of the city as a more abstract subject matter. His style of painting remembers lonely forgotten corners like this in a warm, light, generous, tight style without reverting to the usual mundane still life subjects. He breathes new life, even warmth to an urban landscape we normally ignore or take for granted. He manipulates the emotion of an urban scene with a way he applies oil paint to canvas. You put the paint on, the brush never actually touches the canvas. Um, you kind of scoop it up without over mixing it to flatten the colors out. And you just, you paint it so that the paint touches the canvas, but the brush never actually does. Mm -hmm. That way you don't stir the colors or muck them up and, and it gets very, uh, very thick in texture. His portraits are more than a description of a person's face. This is evident in his use of color. I try to do uh, skin tones and people portraiture without using any flesh colors per se, mm -hmm. but instead use cool colors like blues and purples to uh, make an area of the face recede and paint it sculpturally, almost like you're doing an etching, like when you'd see the president on a $1 bill or something, all the lines kind of configure to the face. I, I try to paint sculpturally as well. The colors I chose tried to uh, to go along with the personality of the person that I was painting and, and uh, try to set up some kind of psychological viewpoint. And uh, the, the paintings are really asking questions of the viewer rather than dictating what you should think about this person in particular. Good art should ask more questions than it does answer. There's a rumor that the women in this show are women that you have known or have dated before. Is that true? There, the last show I had at the Fine Arts Building in Chicago represented 40 or 50 of my ex-girlfriends and uh, it was a pretty successful show. There were some disgruntled viewers there, but for the most part uh, I got some good publicity off it. It was called To All the Girls I've Loved Before, Robert Brasher Paints His Ex-Girlfriends. And then in turn there are a lot of men that want to know when the book is coming out. <laughs> Robert Brasher's works are on display at the Steeple Gallery in St. John. For directions to the gallery, call 219-365-1014.